what's going on traders and investors alex here and today i'll show you guys how to convert any currency into usd and also how to select the right commission structure for you the purpose of doing these two things is to avoid generating extra fees so before we do that just a reminder that all the tools i use to day trade are linked in the description so if you're looking for the best broker scanner charts and news feed everything will be linked down below without further ado let's jump right in so when you're logged in on the website what you're gonna have to do is just go into trade and we're gonna go into currency conversion it is pretty simple you just have to select the account that you want and over here you should have the currency that you're available to convert and then you're just going to select the currency that you want and you're going to be good to go the following things we're going to do is just click on this little thing over here and go to settings and when this is done there's a couple options that you can see on this page the one we're going to be looking at is the IBKR pricing plan. And when you click, this is the page that is going to bring you to. So you have two options. You have the fixed and also the tiered. I'm using the tiered because I used to trade a bit more volume when I use this account. If you want to see the commission difference, here's the difference. So when you're using the fix, you're paying a half a penny per transaction or per shares, I would say. And if you're using this one over here, which is the tiered, it's going to be depending on the volume. So for sure, it comes to a little bit less if you're adding liquidity. So that means if you're not paying the offer and the bid. When you're using the tier structure, there's a couple of things you have to be aware of. You're going to be charged additional fee when you're buying on the ask or selling on the bid or using market order. If you're using limit order and your orders are not being executed right away, you're actually going to receive what is called a credit. So a discount. And you can do the math depending on yourself, how you trade. But overall, if you're adding liquidity, it comes to a better pricing for most people. But if you're someone that use a lot of market order or pay the bid and the ask, it's actually probably going to cost you the same or maybe more depending on the volume that you trade. So you have to remember over here, this is always dependent on the volume that you trade. And also the minimum per order is a little smaller. So for a smaller trader that trade like less than 250 shares, it could actually be beneficial for them. As usual, all the tools that I use today trade are linked in the description. So if you want to support the channel, that's the best way to do it. 